Yeah, this is the question. You have to find out a plus b whole to the power of four minus a minus b whole to the power of four. At first, we ex do the diagonal expansion of this and write in this format, and for this, we write in this format. But here it is giving a minus sign, so we put here minus. So this whole sign gets changed off. This becomes minus. This plus minus. This becomes plus. This becomes minus. So finally, this gets cancelled off. This gets cancelled off, and this gets cancelled off. Our final answer becomes this. This is that is four four this one. So four c one means it is one a cube plus b a cube b plus a cube b. That we get here eight a cube b, and here also we get eight a b cube plus eight a b cube. So this is our final answer. We get eight. A B here we get here A square plus B square. In the first question, with this question, it was given that hence evaluate root three plus this one in this format. So this we can if to evaluate we got eight A B here A A is this one and B is this one. So eight root three into root two where like this we can write down. Finally, our answer becomes forty root six. So this on simplification, so we get here. This gets cancelled off in this way. It gets cancelled off. Finally, this and this gets cancelled off. This gets cancelled off, and this gets cancelled off. And on simplification, we get in this format. But later in the question, they have asked that we have to find out this. We have to evaluate this. If you compare with this and this, instead of x, you can put root two over here. So then only we can get it. So instead of x, put root two, and finally, if you put root two instead of x, we get this solution. This is one more question from NCERT. The summation of three to the power of n NCERT equals to four to the power of n. We have to prove that. At first, we do the simplification. After simplification, it seems to be one plus three four to the power of n, and hence it is equals to four to the power of n, which is equals to. this